In this video, we will discuss testing and one solution for converting a unit test into an automated test. Unit tests are typically small component level tests which software developers use to verify quality as code is developed. Most times these unit level scenarios make up core functionality of the application. As a tester on a developer team or a dedicated QA tester, it is often encouraged to leverage unit tests to build test suites which can be automated for regression. In this example, we will leverage the LeanFT test framework within Microsoft Visual Studio to build an automated end unit test. First, we'll need to create the new project within LeanFT by going to File and then go to New and then Project. We then need to make sure that the appropriate template is selected on the left side on the Visual C Sharp and then Test. Then we select the appropriate test type, which is going to be a LeanFT end unit project, and we'll give it a name. Lean FT shopping cart and click OK to create the project. Here, we're looking at a template project for Lean FT and we need to record the appropriate activities for the test steps. The first step is to add the required directives. We've added two statements, one for the web SDK for web application calls and system diagnostics directive to utilize debug statements during the test. Next, we'll populate the steps of the test by using the Object Identification Center, or OIC, to gather properties of the relevant objects to be used in the project. Each link we click on the application requires proper identification. In the OIC, we click Generate Code to Clipboard to copy the required C-sharp code for the project. Now that the code is copied to the clipboard, we switch over to LeanFT to paste the c -sharp code into the project. Before we continue populating the project with code, we first must insert a step to invoke the desired web browser and launch the application. In this example, Chrome will be our browser of choice. The next step would be to invoke the application or launch the URL for our web application. In this case, it is www.advantageonlineshopping.com. To follow best practices and to improve readability, we'll next add some comments to the code to ensure that we know what's going on as we proceed through the test. Back to our copy code from OIC. It now requires a method to perform on the identified object. In this case, we choose the click method. We then repeat the process for every step of the test. Gather properties from the desired object, ensure they have been properly identified, and invoke the desired method on the object. This process continues until we have completed every desired step of the business process, from selecting the item, adding it to the cart, checking out, paying for the item, and ensuring that we get a confirmation message that the order completed. Next, we'll add a simple functionality checkpoint to ensure the process completes successfully. Now we run the test and watch the application in action. Notice how the browser launches and it executes all the business process steps that we have set up within LeanFT. After the test completes, we then view the test results. Now we can take it to the next step and import this particular LeanFT test into a Jenkins project so that we can integrate it into our continuous integration. Here we can see our project that we've already created called LeanFT underscore shopping cart. And if we can look at the configuration of this, we can see the, the, the type of parameters we can add. If we get down to the build portion, we see our in unit command line parameters, which include the Visual Studio shopping cart application uh, project that we included, the DLL here, as well as a specification of the results to go to testresult.xml. We can then go back to the actual project and build this to see if it actually executes as desired. So the script ticks off automatically and it goes to the Advantage site and performs the steps. We can then see the outcome of this build within Jenkins right here. And we see that it has changed to a green color, indicating success. If we hover over this, it says success, and we can click on it to see the console output. And we see the test result it has no failures. And we can drill down to each one of these and look at the LeanFT test duration and how long it took and the status of pass.